Welcome once again to The Breakfast. And just before our first major conversation for today, let's go back in history to the year 2002. Um, on this day, uh, the 11th of October 2002, President, uh, former President Jimmy Carter won the Nobel Peace Prize. Um, of course, uh, he, he won it for his decades of untying and undying uh, efforts to find peaceful solutions to international conflicts, to advance democracy and human rights, and to promote economic and social development. The Nobel Committee had wanted to give Carter the prize that year for his efforts and how, you know, much and, uh, time and effort that he had put into trying, you know, to you know, create a more peaceful world uh, through, uh, you, know, um, um, you know, many, many, many um, acts of, um, you know, democracy and, you know, negotiations and, you know, books that he had also written. Um, the Nobel Prize in Economics was first awarded in 1969, and Carter was the third U.S. president to receive the award worth $1 million. Carter also helped fight disease and improved economic growth in developing nations, and also has served as an observer at numerous political elections around the world. Three other U.S. presidents have been similarly honored, and they are Theodore Roosevelt, Woodrow Wilson, and former President Barack Obama. And so, on this day... From President Jimmy Carter won the Nobel Peace Prize, and uh, of course uh, that was a one million dollars, um, you know, attached to that Peace Prize um, in 2002, the 11th of October. Now let's move to our first major conversation for today. It is the PDP's timetable for its national convention, which is sometime in the month of October. We're going to be speaking with Diron Odeemi, who is the Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the PDP, right after this short break. <laughs> 